What's going on everybody? It's TBS here and today we are back on a Modern Warfare video. Before we actually hop into the gameplay, I want to take this time to just say thank you. Thank you to everybody who tunes into my videos. If you guys are watching my videos for a minute, two minutes, five minutes, I want to just say I really do appreciate it. But today we are going to be using the Task Force 141 class setup. I will be showing my class setup at the end of the video, so please Make sure you guys are sticking around for that, but I really have been like going back on Modern Warfare like when I'm not playing on Cold War or I'm not hanging out with friends or doing stuff like that. I'm on Modern Warfare. I am currently, as you guys can see from what my character is holding right there, he's holding the ice bell. I am currently trying to level that up and just get the final ammo conversions I need for the... AS Val, the SPR, the Jack-12, and the Crossbow. Those are the only ammo conversions I have left. So when I finally unlock all of them for you guys, I will drop that either as its own video or a clip in one of my future videos. But I just want to let you guys know, I haven't forgotten. I'm still working on it. But yeah, today we got some domination on Azure Cave. Honestly, I really like playing this map when... Modern Warfare was the current Call of Duty. I, I really didn't see anything wrong with this map. Just besides, the, well, no, no. I really have to say there was really nothing wrong that I saw. I thought it was fun. It played, oh, okay. Well, we didn't join too late, but I don't think I'm going to be recording for all of the video or this entire game because I kind of want to keep my videos. I want to, my videos aren't long. I want to keep them long, but I don't want to. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 I remember that. That was just one thing I didn't like about this map was just like the visibility over on the cover of B, but I, I, I was saying, I don't want to make my videos too long, but I also don't want to cut out on like the content of my, I don't want to sacrifice length for quality because if I have to play the entire game, I will because I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how he didn't get me or how his teammate didn't get me that that's that that's got me questioning like okay how did they not notice me right there I, I don't know how he didn't get me I think he was using a knife too is he still over there I think he is okay uh, how do I want... okay is he still over here is he I don't think he is nope Okay, okay, we have all the points. Okay, they're going after C. Okay, where, wait, 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 where did he? Oh, I think he, is he, is he running? Where are they? That's really weird. I saw we were, well, there's somebody right there. Okay, that was terrible recoil right there, but I still somehow managed to get the kill. But yeah, I absolutely just love playing Modern Warfare. I know everybody just dogged on this game and I, I can definitely say when people were getting on this game, I can definitely say that they really didn't have any unfounded reasons for getting after this game because I could definitely see why some people like don't, some people, myself included, I really don't like the skill-based matchmaking and just like the fact that Activision basically just said, okay, we want to make this friendly for new players. But if you ask me, and I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm just putting my two cents in here. I'm not looking to, like, really, like, get people upset and just say, like, oh, skill-based skill -based matchmaking is bad, which I think it, it, it kind of is. But when they make a game specifically tailored to getting new people in, it causes the... It, yes, it can happen, but it also happens at the expense of the returning players or the people that have been sticking with call of duty throughout the years which i can definitely say i've been one of them like i've stuck through call of duty i just love playing this game but just the skill based matchmaking and just the fact that they tailored this game to the newer players which i can understand why they would but at the same time i just i don't know i don't like feeling like okay i'm kind of getting shortchanged because they have they're making a game that's tailored specifically to one kind of player which i get it like 
at the I, I get it, but also at the same time, I kind of wish they would give. Okay. Okay, that was that was terrible. I want to see this. Okay, I don't know how I didn't get killed. I don't know how he didn't hit his first shot on me, but nice. To, I can I can give him credit for that snap on right there. But yeah, I just that that's that's my little rant about Modern Warfare. Other than okay, I saw him. I was just trying to trying to line up my shot right there. Wait, he's using a kilo, but yeah, I just. That's my little rant about Modern Warfare, but overall, I would definitely say I did enjoy this game. I did go enjoy going for Damascus. I, I would say, like, just one thing, and you guys have heard me mention in a video before, in videos before, but I don't like how, like, the leveling system is tied with the camos, but at the same time, I like it because it gives the game... Okay. It just got an unsuspected... Are you wait? Let me let me see this. Let okay. He was using the Fennec or the Vector. Okay, I can I can give him credit for that kill right there. But yeah, just if you guys have like watched my videos before, I absolutely enjoyed going for Damascus. But because it added longevity to the game, just making the weapon levels tied with the camos. But just the mounting kills, not really my favorite, and just like. I like to get the camos done as fast as possible, and I don't, I, I can, again, it's kind of the same thing like before. I see why they did it, but at the same time, I kind of don't really like enjoy it. Like, yeah, it adds longevity, and I understand that, but it just, I, I just don't like how long it took to level up the weapon and level up the weapons, and then you had to go for all the camos that went with it, especially with mounted kills, that was the biggest one for me because I just, I don't know. It just feel like, I felt like it, it really encouraged or it didn't really help Modern Warfare's camping problem in this game, which I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's, it's there. It's, it's here and we really can't change anything, especially since this isn't even the new Call of Duty and they're not going to completely rework a camo and change the challenges for it like no i mean realistically they're not but i mean i would like them to but at the end of the day i know that they're not going to but i i absolutely still love playing modern warfare even if there were even if there were moments where it's just it felt like this game just really wasn't fun like yeah, that's with all video games. Like, they have their moments where they're not fun, but overall, I would have to say I love playing Modern Warfare. Mainly. Okay, I don't know how you did not kill me right there, but yeah, just. I overall, I absolutely love playing this game. I love playing Shoe House. I love to play Shipment, and I just. I love how this Modern. I loved how I made so many friends at my job. Just over modern work. Okay. If I get out of this, I'm gonna. Okay, I was gonna. I was gonna say if I won that gunfight, I was gonna be a little bit disappointed right there. But yeah, I just I love talking to my friends about this game. We were all we would always talk about how like how modern warfare was fun and just like some problems that we thought about with the game at the time, which. Every video game has their problems. It's it's basically just unavoidable. But I really loved the journey it took me on. And yeah, there were t there were times where I didn't really enjoy this game. But overall, just like how I enjoyed the game, I enjoyed the journey that this game took me on. Just making friends, just being able to like talk talk to people about just like what's going on with the game. Just like hearing what everybody thinks, like what everybody's favorite gun is, just, like what guns they didn't like. Okay, imagine if you that that would have sucked if he was running a riot shield right there. Okay, um, okay, I think they're still back here. Okay, I was gonna say if you got me, I was gonna be a little bit upset right there. But that is gonna be it for this video. That's gonna be it for the gameplay section of this video. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys made it this far in the video. Thank you. It really does mean a lot to me, but that is going to be it for the gameplay section of this video, and I will see you guys in the class setup. So, for my class setup today, for the barrel today, I'm going to be running the Subsonic Integral Suppressor just because of all of the pros that I get from it. 
just that aim down sight speed and the sound suppression and the no enemy skulls that's the main reason i run it the no visible tracers that's just another pro that happens to come with this attachment but that is not the main reason i run it and for the laser today we you know we already you already know we got the good old reliable tech laser just the end down sight speed and the aiming stability that those are the main reasons that i run this attachment and for the stock today i'm going to be running the classic straight line stock just for that aiming stability just so i can stay accurate and not have to worry about like how far like my view is going to look up when i'm trying to get somebody in a gunfight but for the rear grip again we got the good old reliable stippled grip tape mainly just that aim down sight speed and that sprint to fire speed you know the main reason people run this attachment but for the under barrel today i'm going to be running the ranger foregrip mainly for that recoil control the aim and stability is another pro that comes along with this but it's not the main reason i run it because as you guys have seen i already have a couple other attachments that give me aim and stability but I want that recoil control kind of the same thing as the aim and stability so I can just say as accurate as possible not have to worry about where my view is going to be looking when I'm trying to kill somebody in a gunfight but that is going to be it for the class setup thank you very much if you guys made it to the end of the video I feel like I don't say thank you enough and I really just I do appreciate when people take the time to come and view my videos but that is going to be it for this video I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys